Okay, good day to all of you. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you um, how to create a Hello World program using um, an Android-based um, application for Arduino. So, in this, um, again, in this video, um, um, our objective is, what if you do not have um, a PC, and then, but you have a smartphone and you have an Arduino board on hand so what are you going to do or what software you're going to download so that you can code um, Arduino uh, projects and then upload it also in your Arduino board so I'm going to teach you this particular uh, software that I have found in the Google Play Store so let's open our device so okay so the application that i've been talking about is we have this arduino droid so arduino droid it is um a software that you can use um, if you do not have a pc but you have an actual Arduino Arduino board. Okay, of course, what you need is, so this one, the Arduino Uno. Actually, this is a clone uh, of the original Arduino. And then, aside from that, is you need, we need this um, USB cable. Okay, uh, this USB cable, it's the same with the one that we've, uh, we are using in the printers. So, this uh, USB cable. And, depending on your device, you need another component which is uh, the so-called OTG or on-the-go cable. So, this on-the-go cable, um, dep it depends upon the USB interface port of your device. If your interface port for your device is um, mi uh, U uh, mini USB, then you should buy an OTG cable for a mini USB. But since this tablet that I'm, I am using uses uh, USB-C, so uh, a newer interface, a newer interface, so that's why, um, that's why this is the OTG that I've been using, the USB-C. Okay, so let's again return to our tablet device okay so of course you're going to go to to the uh, google play store and download the arduino droid okay the arduino droid so again let's click the arduino droid okay so this will be the interface of our arduino okay Okay, so this is our interface. Okay, um, um, the only problem here is it's difficult, it's not very convenient to type using um, touch screen. So this tablet, um, I also have. If you have a Bluetooth keyboard, it's easier for you to type. But if you do not have uh, the the Bluetooth keyboard, so you're going to type just like typing in a text message. So this is the workspace. Of the Arduino Droid, and then we have the save, compile, upload, and then we have uh, okay, we've clicked here. So Arduino Droid, no Arduino boards found because I am not yet connecting the Arduino board um, with this tablet. So let's see the interfaces in the three buttons. So we have Sketch. So what's the content of Sketch? So new, open, save, save as, save pre-compiled, close, delete examples or library example. Arduino Droid also has their own set of um, examples. And then for file, we have new, rename, and remove. If you want to rename your uh, your device and the uh, your your rather your sketch. And then we have for edit, we have undo, redo, and search. And then for actions, code complete, compile, clear compile cache, and then upload. And then this is the monitor. This will be the one that we're going to use. Uh, this is the serial monitor version for an uh, Arduino droid. And then we have settings. Okay, so for settings, you're going to set here is your Arduino. And then 
since you already know your board, you have to select. You have to select. Okay, uh, the Uno here is the original, and this and this Uno CH340G. This is the clone, so you have to select it. So I pre um, uh, configured it here. And then for the app settings, uh, this is your, uh, you're going to choose, for example, your color theme, your font family, and then the font size. Actually, I make it bigger so that um, it's uh, easier to see. Okay, we can make it bigger if you want to. So 26 is the, 26 is the largest, the biggest font. And then if you want to have the line number, and then there are also other settings that you may use. And then also... From the libraries, if you want to import libraries and then uh, add zip library, then miscellaneous, sign out from Dropbox, and then Google Drive, a file, storage, and then user ID, and then we have purchase. So, if you're going to purchase, this is a free version, but if you're going to purchase Arduino Droid, so we'll, we'll, it will have remove add banner, and then the color themes feature, smart engine feature, tiny keyboard feature, and the premium of all the features. But um, you do not need to purchase the the paid version of Arduino Droid because um, this is already usable. And there is also help for onboarding, Arduino Droid blog, privacy policy, troubleshooting, and post feedback. Okay, so let's first um, let's first uh, in uh, connect the Arduino board. So using Okay, our okay, connect the OTG cable to the USB and then okay, let's connect. Okay, so I already connected the USB to the Arduino board and then also as a good programming practice. Um, I don't have any jewelries because it is said for the metallic. If you're going to deal with electronic components, you must not wear any metallic objects because maybe you'll be, um, uh, of course, static electricity and of course, electricity will flow to you, you'll be electrocuted. So let's connect to the port. So, okay. Okay, this is the indicator if your Arduino Uno is working. So, you have the green light which indicates that it has power. And then, there are also other um, LED indicators. So, the question is, what if it does not have any indicator, the green and the, the yellow? So, it just means that there is a possibility that your board is defective. So, let's put our board here. Okay. And then, okay, so as I've said, we will have a uh, demonstration of the Hello World. So, for the Hello World, um, the, on, the, uh, the other difference with Arduino Droid is that it does not automatically generate the void setup and void loop. So, you, have, you're the, you are the one who's going to type it so at least you know okay so let's type so void okay let's type void set up and then open and close parentheses so okay for the arduino droid it already automatically if you uh, if you type the open parenthesis it will generate the closing parenthesis so that you will have no problem with the uh uh, forgetting the other pair and then the open curly brackets and also it uh, it generates the other partner or the ad uh, the closing curly brackets and then for hello world we have again the serial okay serial dot okay okay actually with uh, Arduino droid um, there is um, some uh, suggestions, but then if you already know your um, your code, so serial dot begin nine thousand six hundred, and then semicolon. Don't forget the semicolon. 
Okay, so as you can notice, the serial dot begin is color white. So, with regards to the color coding scheme of codes, um, it does not really um, um, a very complex color coding with regards to the syntax. And then, another, we have serial dot print okay, print ln and then type okay we have hello world it's very convenient if you have a bluetooth keyboard with you for typing uh, android devices and it's also convenient if your screen is bigger if you're just using your smartphone so i i am using tablet okay Okay then. Okay, next is we have the void loop. Okay. Okay. Then open. Okay, then let's just rename the sketch. Okay, file rather rename. So Okay, so we have to save and then after saving okay doesn't want to save anyway okay so let's try to upload it and our arduino board okay and then while uploading or while comp uh, while uploading please look at the um the the indicator lights okay so again let's first save and then compile Okay, so okay, so that you can see the status. There's also the status monitor. So com uh, completion fin compilation finished. So it means it does not have any error. So again, let's make a mistake deliberately. For example, if you're if you're going to forget the um, semicolon, let's compile it. Okay, the sketch is modified. So uh, the Arduino Droid knows if you modified it. So save sketch before compiling okay yes okay okay so there is an error it says arduino droid compilation error so what is the error sketch uh, the name of the the name of the arduino sketch in function void setup so expected semicolon before serial so the next serial actually so we have to put semicolon and then save it again and then uh, again what if we remove the um, double quotes again let's see okay let's save it again yes okay there's also a compilation error it, it says here that in function void setup hello was not declared in this scope so again um, it means that uh, the compiler thought that the hello or the hello, uh, hello is a data type and then the world is a name of a variable so again let's return let's make it it correct okay so okay okay then again um, let's make it a small letter okay small letter then save and then compile let's see what is the message another compile error so in void setup serial was not declared in the scope again because um what they are uh, what they know is that it should be capital letter s okay and then uh, another one what if for example we remove loop because um, since it does not have any code, can we remove it? Oh, let's try. Let's just test it if, if it will if it'll uh, have an error or not. Okay, there will be an there is an error also because unidentified reference to loop. So though there is no code inside um void loop, you must still include it. 
because that's part, that's the integral part of the Arduino. Uh, you cannot uh, remove um, void loop even if it is if it does not contain anything. Okay, uh, another last one is for example, we remove the closing curly brackets. Example, so let's save and compile it also. Okay, another error. What is the message in the error? I will read it for you. So, a function definition is not allowed here before the closing. So, because, ah, the open, uh, because uh, if you have a um, open curly brackets, it will expect a closing. But then, um, the compiler has read there is no closing and then the compiler encountered another open curly bracket. So, that's the error. So, expected closing error at the end of the input. So, you have again to uh, retype the closing um, curly brackets. And then, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it clearly here, that if you there is a change in your sketch, there is an asterisk. Sketch uh, asterisk before sketch underscore October 3A. Um, this also follows the conventional way of naming uh, the Arduino sketch if you haven't uh, named it yet. Okay, so again, let's compile. So I think there is no more error for it. I just showed, showed you what what will be the uh, the error detection, how does the Arduino droid detects its error so that you can see that they are just all the same. It's just differ sometimes with the message, but the, but the meaning of the message is just the same. So again, let's compile just to make sure that it is working, that it doesn't have any errors. Okay, so come under Arduino, bro, uh, Arduino Droid um, compilation finish, so it does not have an error. So, uh, so, uh, so let's now uh, upload it now. So please take notice or observe what happens if we're going to upload the code to the Arduino board. Okay, so let's upload. Okay, so Arduino Droid. Allow the up Arduino Droid to access the USB device. So, okay, use by default for this device. Okay, another one for your USB to work. You need to click the developer options and then allow USB for debugging. So, uh, I'll, I'll just going to show you after finishing this tutorial so that you will know where to go. Okay, so click OK. Okay, you see that the... The indicators of the Arduino uh, has uh, it blinked. Okay, so it means it has already uh, up, uh, the Arduino sketches already up uploaded in the Arduino board. So since we are using serial here, the serial syntax, so it uses the serial monitor. So let's click. Um, so actions and then click the monitor. Okay, so. Okay, we're not seeing anything. Actually, this is one of the bugs of Arduino Droid. If you're going to put the print LN um, in the void setup, it will not um, appear. So, actually, uh, it's not the problem of the board, but the problem of the app itself. So, it's not yet 100% functional in terms of in terms to other um, platforms such as Tinkercad, Arduino Web Editor, and of course, the Arduino IDE. So, again, let's return. So, so it's not working. So, what if, for example, um, uh, we put the serial pr uh, that print ln hello world to the uh, void loop function? Okay. So, let's click it here. So, serial dot. Um, I tried copying and paste. I and I don't think it it has this feature yet. So, I just have to retype it all over again so hello hello world and then okay then save okay then again compile just to make sure that it does not have any errors okay so it it's okay it does not have any errors it's error free then let's upload again you can see if the code is uploaded and then it is uh, seen in the message sketch is uploaded so let's see again in the serial monitor 
So, it's working. If we are going to put the um, serial that print ln inside the void loop. So, you can you can already see. So, again, let's try to Okay, so this is actually the logo for monitor. So, this is save, verify, upload, and then um, for for serial monitor. And then, let's try to rename if we can rename the file. Okay, so we cannot rename the file for this time. So, at least this have uh, it's sketch underscore the date today. Okay, so, okay, since it's already saved. Um, I'm going to show you where to locate the the debugging option. Okay, well, let's go here with settings and then Okay, it depends upon the device that you have. So additional settings. Um sometimes um Okay. Um, for this example, um, developer options will not appear unless you forced it to do. Sometimes it appears on the, um, in Xiaomi, uh, Mi Pad, it, appear, it appears in the user interface. If you click here, uh, click here um, continuously, as you can see here, no need, you are already a developer. Try in your devices that if you click the, in the um, system interface of your device and so... You are already a developer, so it will appear here in the additional settings, the developer, the developer options. Okay, let's click the developer option, so it must be turned on in this device. So again, it differs depending upon on the device. And then you have to enable USB debugging, because if you will not um, enable USB debugging, you cannot use the uh, Arduino Droid. Actually, I've 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 tried it without um, enabling USB debugging. I'm I I could not uh, uh I could not connect to the board. So I remembered. Oh, I per I forgot that it should be um, USB debugging must be enabled. So okay. So so this is it for our tutorial for today. So I hope that. Um, you learned something uh, of, of course you, uh, you learned something from this uh, you learned um, how to program um, Arduino sketch using an Android phone with Arduino droid installed um, this this setup is beneficial if you do not have of course you have to have an internet connection to download Arduino droid but after downloading you can already uh, program using the Arduino droid and then this is beneficial if you don't have a PC but you have an Arduino board, the USB cable and of course the corresponding OTG cable for your device so that it will be um, connected. So again if you have questions please free to comment and then um, thank you for watching this uh, video. I hope that you like, uh, share and subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much and good day.